Greetings, Mount Zion. So here's what it says in Romans chapter 13, the first two verses. It says, Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against that authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. The reason I'm reading that to you is that our governor has said that we should refrain from gatherings that are over 50 people. Our president has asked us not to gather with gatherings over 10 people. So needless to say, we are not going to have church this Sunday or this Wednesday. And we will keep you up to date on a week by week basis according to what our ruling and governing authorities say. To go along with that, I want to talk to everybody from Mount Zion to be considerate of everybody else's opinion. In Romans 14, it says, Accept the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters. One person's faith allows them to eat anything, but another whose faith is weak eats only vegetables. The one who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who does not, and the one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does, for God has accepted them. So translated, this is what it means. If you're the person who says, I'm not afraid, I'm going to shake hands, I'm going to go to church, I'm going to go to the store, please be considerate of those who don't feel comfortable doing that and just show kindness and respect and love one another as the Word of God tells us. These are disputable matters. So when it comes to meeting, it's your choice. It's what you do. So Wednesday night, you can go on mtzn.com slash events and we will have our teachings online so that you can study with us. And then our weekend services, Saturday night and Sunday, will all be live streamed at their normal times. All right, so how do you communicate and how do we communicate with you during this time of distress? First and foremost, if you are in a small group and you need ministry, we'd ask you to talk to your small group leader and they will relay that request to us and we will make sure that we are able to minister as well as we possibly can. If you're not in a small group, call Mount Zion and talk to us during normal church hours. If there is no answer, please remember to leave a message and a callback number and we will get back to you. Other than that, you can go to mtzn.com and you can go to our Facebook page and we will communicate with you. Remember, we're doing this on a week-by-week -week basis according to what the authorities tell us to do and what we can do. So please help us by communicating with us and we will keep you informed. Concerning our food pantry, it will be open on Saturday morning from 9 to 11, the normal time. At the same time, I want to say to our congregation, we believe that the need will increase because some people are losing jobs, some people are losing hours, and so if there is an increased need, we're going to ask you to bring in non-perishable food items and bring them under the carport in front of the church, drop them off at your convenience, and our staff will collect them regularly so that, again, we can meet the needs of those in our body. Thank you. So when it comes to small groups, we encourage you to meet with your small groups. We also want to tell you to be conscious if you are in an at-risk demographic. In other words, if you've been ill, if you're not at the top of your health, don't meet unless you feel comfortable with it and you trust God to care for you. Again, we go back to Romans chapter 14. Don't do it if you don't feel 
comfortable. I also want to remind you that gatherings of 50 or less are acceptable and legal. So in answer to the question, if we can't come to church, how do we give? How do we tithe? And I would preface that by saying, I believe this would be the worst time to stop tithing because God tells us that if we bring forth our tithes and offerings, he will care for us. I also want to say do it proportionately. If your income has gone down, we understand your tithe will go down. If your income goes up, your tithe will go up. But here's the point. You can go online to mtzn.com and, and hit the giving button, the contribution button, and then you can give to us online or you may mail a check to Mount Zion Christian Church. So people have been calling and say, will the church be open so that we can come into the church and pray? And in order to try to comply as much as we can with the request of our government leaders, the church is not going to be open on a daily basis. We are encouraging our staff to work from home as much as they can, and we want to encourage you to pray as much as you want and whenever you can with your small groups, with your family, and remember, church doesn't have to do with a certain place in a certain building. The church is who we are, wherever we are. So throughout history, in difficult times like this, times of disaster, I see people with faith in the one true God as the ones that survive, the ones that help others, the ones that rise to the occasion and come through victoriously. So I'm asking you, Mount Zion Christian Church, and the church at large, that during this time, to put your faith and your hope in God and to have your eyes and ears open for opportunities to be light in the darkness and to bring victory to those who have become hopeless. I'm gonna ask you to pray with me. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you would use the body of Christ right now and that, Lord, there would be victory, that you would keep us healthy, that you would meet our needs, and that, Lord, when the coronavirus is a thing of the past, people will look back and say, the church really rose up and did exactly what God designed them to do. In Jesus' name, amen.